I don't want to cry. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of fun telling people about our favorite books, the elephant and piggy books, right? Look at how many we have. We have so many elephant and piggy books. Let's see, if we can say hi to everybody. Can you say hi, Ellie? Hi. Can you say hi, Connor? Hi. <laughs> uh, Connor and Ellie are two and a half, and, and Connor is my son, and Ellie is my daughter. You want to say say who you're holding? I'm holding a piggy. You're holding Piggy. Piggy is your favorite friend, right? And who are you holding, Connor? Um, Can you show the camera? Show um, Joe. Gerald, and Gerald's an elephant. Let's show him Gerald. And they're characters from their very, very favorite books. I have right? hearts. They gave you, yeah. Did you see those hearts they gave you? That's pretty cool. Oh, more hearts. They're so colorful. More hearts. Yeah. It's so colorful. Yeah, they're going right into my nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. They are so cute. Somebody said you're so cute. Yeah. Too many. Um. Too <laughs> This is their first time using a real microphone, too, so <laughs> this will be fun. Um, Gerald. Gerald, yeah. <laughs> so Connor and Ellie are two and a half, and they've been reading for, I don't know, about six months ago, we discovered um, the Elephant and Piggy books by Mo Willems. And uh, it has a character, Gerald, who's an elephant, and Piggy, who is a pig. Um, it took us a couple books to find out that Piggy was female, but she's a girl, right? <laughs> for Christmas, they they got these. Oh, <laughs> don't let them knock over the camera. They got these little stuffed versions of Elephant and Piggy. And what do you like about Piggy? Um, too many hearts. More hearts. <laughs> You're distracted by the hearts, huh? More hearts. More hearts. Turner, come here so we can see you. There. Yeah. <laughs> All those hearts. <laughs> oh, hey, Ryan. So, oh, those hearts are going to my nose. You're right. <laughs> so, what what they really like about these elephant and piggy books is that there's not a lot of text on. Oops, hit you in the head, Connor. Not a lot of text on each page, and there's a lot of uh, everything's through a speech or thought bubble. So it makes it easy for them to understand and follow the story, even though they're not readers yet, and they they're already recognizing a lot of the words there. So Mo Willems is the author. Let's hold this up so they can see who writes them. And it seems like he has one out about a year. Um, what is our newest one? We got a new one here in, just in June. But uh, Mo Willems, he wrote those, um, is it the, the books with the bird in there, the, uh, the pigeon, like if you give a pigeon a cookie. But we really like the elephant and piggy books. And Connor looks like he's, he's gone. We lost him. He's busy pulling out chairs. <laughs> what What is this one, Ellie? We have this one. It, it says, is there a bird on your head? Yeah. Yeah. What happens in that book? Um, boing. <laughs> yeah, I'll put on Twitter, I'll put a link out to uh, the author's page on Amazon because these are really great books. Oh, Don, you're familiar with them? Um, yeah. We lo the books are quick, so we can read three in one sitting very, very easily. And then they like to pick them up and retell them after we read them. Yeah, and there's Piggy. Look at Piggy. <laughs> and so just some of the titles. Uh, Pigs Make Me Sneeze. Gerald thinks that his best friend Piggy uh, makes him sneeze, that he's allergic to him, and thinks their friendship is going to be over. Spoiler alert, at the end, it's just a cold because he be he's also allergic to Cat Doctor, too. So... <laughs> Yeah, Mo Willems is, is the author. Let's see here. Oh, I th oh, this is our newest one. I will take a nap. Gerald gets so tired and uh, he need and cranky, and he needs to take a nap. But will Piggy let him? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. No. Oh, what do you, what do you want to show, Ellie? <laughs> we could all use a nap, couldn't we? <laughs> yeah. She's, she's a natural with the camera. Yeah, she holds it right up. She, the, the periscope, our camera, we couldn't point down anymore because I know it should probably be at the top so the chat room doesn't cover it. But Connor's, Connor's shooting baskets with our new little basketball hoop down here. But how about this one, Ellie? <laughs> I'm on a mission to break the hearts record. 
<laughs> Ellie's in a lot of hearts. Oh, what's this one, Ellie? Uh, what is this one? A big ball. <laughs> a big guy took my ball. A big boy took my ball. Yeah, big guy took your ball. Uh, do you, what happens in the book? Yeah, let's look at a picture so we can remember. Oh, is Piggy happy or sad? Sad. Yeah, and what I love about the books too is it's been so great for my kids to identify emotions because clearly you can see <laughs> Piggy is sad there. And so we talk about how each of the characters feel a lot as we read them. <laughs> let's see. Oh, and who is the big guy? The big guy, let's, let's get to the right page here. Oh, there he is. The big guy is a whale. Uh, a big guy is a whale. He's a whale, yeah. <laughs> and a whale. Yeah, he's a whale. A whale. Good books to teach grammar with little kids. Yeah, I think that they're, Ellie being a two and a half year old here, she's learning a lot. Yeah. You, you going to come back and join us, Connor? Oh, you got the ball stuck in the hoop? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's look at some of the other ones. Oh, this one's good. We use this phrase a lot. Waiting is not easy. And Gerald has to wait for a surprise. What, you want to show something in it, Ellie? Uh -huh. Okay, what do you want to show us? When he's, he's so happy. <laughs> Gerald's so happy, yeah, because he's jumping, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure if they could sit still. One can sit still, and the other is out and about over there. Yeah. I see. You say, you're one of my friends, and one of my piggy friends. You're, you're friends with Piggy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has a great reading voice. So can you say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> that's, uh, uh, so I was saying, you know, we, we might just end up deleting this Periscope if it didn't turn out very good. But Ellie's doing a great job. Yeah, they can't see the book. They, they see the back. Let's, let's, we have so many of these. Here's one um, called Let's Go for a Drive. And they get everything ready to go for a drive, like bags and umbrellas and maps. And what's the one thing they don't have? No stylus. <laughs> I don't know what you just said, but they don't have a car, and that's so they end up using their imagination instead. Oh yeah, on a pirate ship. Show them the pi pirate ship. Yeah. Let's. I know <laughs> these are reminding you. <laughs> you have my smile, huh? Lucky you. <laughs> oh, here, here's class. Ellie, can you roll your eyes? <laughs> that was a good one. That was really good. <laughs> drive, drive, drive. There's another one where they find out they're trapped in a book, and they play a little trick on the reader. That one's a really fun one. One of my favorites. A port. Yeah, they don't have a car, do they, in their drive? I'm walking I'm walking Yeah. Um, another one is, uh, I'm a frog. Yeah, you're, <laughs> they're looking for a map. In the frog, Piggy pretends to, to be a frog, and that freaks Gerald out because he doesn't know what pretending is. Uh-oh, Connor, did you get hurt? Come here. Come here. Oh, <laughs> uh, did you fall down? He's shooting baskets and fell down. It, oh, it got stuck. Yeah. Um, one, one of my least favorite ones is Elephants Can't Dance. I don't think that one's so fun. Oh, we don't, we don't want to cry on the internet, Connor. It's broken. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. After we get done showing books, we'll fix it. There you go. <laughs> uh, a really good one. Is, and I love the surprise twist that, that Mo Willems puts in here. Piggy fell down in that page, didn't Piggy? Aww. <laughs> uh, yeah, there are award stickers. They won like the Seuss Award, several of these. These And the book, I don't know what that was. That was weird. Uh, 
Then uh, this one's a great one. I love my new toy. The, the unexpected twists in all of these are fun because uh, Piggy thinks that Elephant broke her new toy. And it turns out that that's just the way the toy was made. It was supposed to break. And uh, asking a, whoa, <laughs> asking a, their, their friend Snake to play, he pl asked to play catch with them and he doesn't have arms. So they have to figure out a way to play catch with Snake even though he doesn't have arms. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Nikki's Nikki's analyzing. Is it irregular past tense? I I missed that. Was that what Ellie's talking? Or uh, uh, I love new my toy. Oh yeah, she loves her new toy. And then Gerald breaks it, huh? Yeah, yeah. I. Let's see, another one is, my new friend is so fun, and they're afraid that their best friends are going to be best friends and leave them out. And again, has another cute surprise ending. So we have a, a pile of all these books, don't we? What? Dad, I have red eyes. Oh, he has red eyes because he is so excited about seeing it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there he threw his toy way up. It's yours. Yeah. Do you want Do you want to say one more thing before we end? Do you want to tell anybody anything? <laughs> You're welcome, Craig. We like sharing our favorite books with you, um, and we we love Elephant and Piggy, and we can't wait till a new one comes out. <laughs> All right. So everybody, uh, see you later. See you, can you say see you later? See you later.